everybody. Hey, taking my daily walk. And I just got back from the mailbox because um, I had won this little contest on Facebook from the Parkinson's Road Group that I'm from. And Pam Roper, one of the admins, said she was going to mail me off a little something um, since I won. Well, I was the only one that participated in the um, competition. It was, you're supposed to guess the middle name of the admins. And well, I got two right out of, I forget, maybe 10, 10 of them, something like that. Well, I'll show you what I got. And thanks, Pam. Thanks, Parkinson's Road. Thanks, Pam, again from Parkinson's Road. She's an admin, a nice refrigerator magnets, a bookmark, a pen, and a notebook paper that says member of the Parkinson's Road. So I can write all my medical stuff and notes about Parkinson's down that I can show my doctor. Thanks again. And that reminds me, the next part of this video is I'm going to get my DAT scan today at Phoenix. Hopefully this goes okay. Well, I'm sitting in the biohazard room. Yes, biohazard room. I had to drink this solution for my thyroid. So um, the stuff that they're gonna inject me doesn't affect my thyroid. Attention ladies, um, are you pregnant? Thank God I'm not, so I don't need to worry about that. The procedure was supposed to start at nine, but they had a little pharmacy issue, so I'm still sitting here. It's almost 10 o'clock, but that's all right. I'm a little bit apprehensive because of claustrophobia, but the doctor prescribed me some clonopin, and they said, um, of course, they have to put a strap on the head so it doesn't move, so uh, they can put the strap around my eyes so I can't see, because even though it's open scan, it goes really close to my face. They can't even have my glasses on, but I'll get through it. Be, you know, because the scan's going to be between 40 minutes and an hour. That's a long time to have something that close to the face. But I've been got my IV in for the injection. I have already drank the um, that oh, thyroid blocker. They said it didn't when it taste, but it did because all the stuff went to the bottom. The top was fine because it tasted like water, but as I got further down, it was tasted a little nasty and hot but it's okay so but it'll be all right this will help confirm you know or uh, the Parkinson's diagnosis anyway so we'll see how it goes today it's going to be a long long day because I have to come back three hours later so but I can find something to do go shopping or whatever all right since I'm having to wait here in the little tiny waiting room for an hour after drinking that nasty thyroid blocker iodine medicine before I can get the um, nuclear radioactive stuff injected into my veins, I saw a granddaddy long legs. Oh, might as well just film him. He was doing some neat stuff. He's very artistic and he helps keep the fly population down. That's a good thing, I think. Well, we're about to start the radioactive injection. That'll help the DAT scan read the dopamine levels in my brain. Hopefully I don't start glowing in the dark like space aliens. Stored for a little bit of time, so they like to put a 
absorb it in there to make yeah. it a stable. It's amazing when something's in your veins, you can't start tasting it like oh, just a little bit, not too bad. It's almost like a smell taste. Yeah, yeah. Salt water kind of. Almost like um, you were touching a penny. Or something. Yeah, yeah. This is just saline and just yeah. rinsing it out yeah. so I can inject a little bit faster. Well, the IV is out, and I didn't turn green from the radioactive stuff. That's at least good. And we decided to stick around and eat the hospital food. Yes, yes, people taking yuck, but it was actually pretty good. Baked salmon, broccoli, potatoes au gratin, and mushrooms with extra cheese. Mmm. And here is the DAP scan machine. Ooh, hopefully I do okay. That thing's going to be really close to my face. Well, I made it out okay. I had a little bit of issues, yeah, with panic, but the clonopin kicked in. I relaxed and actually took a little bit of a nap. And now oh, Jerry's trying better. to make me feel better. Oh, no. oh. Hello, everybody. Got back late from Phoenix. We... Got inside the airstream and just unwound for a little bit. Jerry's is now asleep, but I'm walking here at 11:30 at night. And guess what? These streets in this town are dead. Oh my! A little town like this is awesome because nothing is happening. Those of those of you that like lots of excitement, this town would not be for you. It is for me though, because shoot, there's nobody on the streets. See? Yeah, there's a little building noise from the, the little pizza bar place, but that's closed, I don't know. I think people are just um, there after hours and right now the weather is just cooling off up here it's way better up here than in Quartzsite or, Fe or, Quartzsite or Phoenix this time of year even because Quartzsite and Phoenix this time of year is still really hot at night time but here, ooh, what was that? ooh I don't know what that noise was Oh well, I kind of sound like a rattlesnake. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. No, 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 I'll just stay away. I'm not going to even check that noise out. I heard a... Uh, sound like a rattle, so... Yeah, even up here, there's rattlesnakes. You have to be really, really careful. Well, huh, yeah. That's all it is, is leftover customers at the pizza bar place there. That's a really good place to eat, by the way. Gilligan's. It, they're a real fun establishment. But when this place gets cooler, uh, and it's like chilly, chilly, people are always in there, even though you eat outside and have your drinks outside. They got little burners, propane burners and stuff. Yeah, it's that place. And normally, there's cars parked alongside this road. But, right now, they're parked up the road and everything. But yeah, this little town is so peaceful, especially for someone like me, who likes that kind of thing and needs some peace. I just need some peace and quiet. The only real excitement at nighttime here it's javelinas. You have tons and tons of javelinas. 
you've got, of course, some rattlesnakes, and you also have um, a deer. You have bears. Oh my God, there's like three bears. We already s coming back from Prescott on this curvy, curvy road. There was a bear alongside the road. It looked like it had fell off a big old um, ditch or a big old hill and it was stuck alongside the road. But of course, we're not gonna try to rescue a bear. It was fine, it was on its feet. It was just a little disoriented and it would be fine. <laughs> we're not, not going to attempt to get bit by a bear. Uh, no. But I need to quit rambling. And I need to get back to the trailer. Because. Um, you know even though it's peaceful here at night time. And no one um, is going to really bother you. You just never know who's going to drive along side the road. Uh, just like right now. There is one car driving along this road, but you hardly ever see anyone driving alongside this road, but it looks like someone from the RV park or one of the houses down the road. Yep, I think I'm just going to walk up a little bit further up the road here. I'm talking to my phone so that way no one... If there is some weird creeper, they're not going to get me, but I'm not really worried about that. So, I need to quit rambling. I've been rambling here for, oh, five minutes now. So, it's time for me to get off. And everyone have an awesome night. And I'll keep you updated on what the DAT scan results are. I'm not really worried about it at all. So, catch you later. Have an awesome night. And until next time, keep on keeping on. Ooh, look, a light above my head. Ooh. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.